Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be opening and setting up this Elegoo um, Neptune 4 3D printer. Uh, I've been waiting on this for a very long time. This is from the August, the August um, like round of deliveries. So I'm excited to check it out. Let's take a look at what we got in here. All right, so I originally saw this on the short circuit video um, when Dan from Linus Tech Tips reviewed this printer. I looked like a pretty solid option, so I was pretty interested, and I decided to purchase it. So this thing seems to be packaged pretty well. Looks like we have user manual, a notice for use. Oh, and how to install it, I would guess. Got some glue. Is this just a normal glue stick? It is a normal glue stick. Cool. We got all kinds of parts and pieces. Some different attachments. Power cable. More miscellaneous attachments. This seems to be something. Oh, uh, maybe a heater unit or something. Or a fan to keep the prints cool. And then we, of course, have the main arm, or whatever it's called, right here. So I'm going to probably just set this up, and then we'll take a look at it. It's going to be much easier if I can just set it up, and then we will check it out after it's built. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it is the next day, and I have the printer running right now. Uh, before I show you the printer, though, I wanted to show you this cool web interface that it comes with. So you can actually see the status of the print. You can see like the file name, obviously, like all kinds of stats on it. You can also control it, so you can change different, these are called macros, but basically you can just do different things on the printer, like turn the lights on and off. You can also change the fans, but there's a lot of stuff you can do, which is really cool. So I do like this web interface a lot. You can see a lot of information that's very helpful to see. You can see all your files. Like it's very nice to have this interface because I feel like it saves you a lot of time that like you would take to bring a USB disc to the printer or whatever. So that's nice to have this. It also has this nice visualizer on your bed leveling. So when I first got this printer, I didn't calibrate it before I printed. So I didn't show it in the video at all. I just showed the unboxing of it. But after I first set it up, like you could see like this wave was like way up there and the back one was way down, but then I leveled it and obviously it's pretty level now. It's still not perfect, but the fact that it can see this is really cool because then it knows it can adjust how it prints so it gets perfectly level every single time. So there's a lot of things you can do on this printer. I Like I said, I really do like this web interface. It's pretty nice. So that's that. I'm going to show you the other part that I like about this printer, which is the Elegoo Cura software. So I have this software here on my Mac. Works great. I wish they had a Linux version because I have an old Linux laptop that I could just have running the software, but whatever. So um, this is just a basic slicer software, but what's cool about it is like, obviously you can see like time estimate, but I've never seen one that shows you the cost too and how much filament it's using. So that's kind of nice to see that like comparatively to how much filament you have left and you can kind of estimate it to see how much you have, like if you're running low on filament. But yeah, this software is pretty basic. It, it gets the job done. It's pretty nice. Uh, I do wish actually, let's go here. If I go to the printer, if I add printer, it won't find it on the network, even though like I can ping the printer. And obviously like if I go back to Safari here, I'm on the web interface of the printer. So for some reason it just won't connect to the printer, but either way you can just basically go in here, you can save this TFT file, and then you go into the software on the printer, you go to jobs, and then you just click the plus button and then you upload or upload and print uh, your job file and then it will print it for you. But all right, so now it's a couple days or a couple weeks later actually since I've gotten the printer. I've printed a few things and I want to show them off. So the first is whatever this is. This is one of the demo prints on the printer when I got it. And it's really cool because you can see how it like, it's able to add layers sticking out like that. And I think it does it pretty well. The quality of this print is pretty good. If I hang it up, hold it up to the light here. I, I would say this is a pretty good print. So the next thing is this boat. I originally had white filament, but I actually switched it mid print. And you can see that this boat is also really cool. There's like a steering wheel inside of it, as well as this overhang, which is also pretty sweet. The previous 3D printer I had could not do that kind of stuff where it like adds a roof or whatever 
to it. So, very cool. The other thing, I printed this replica of the Titanic just because I thought it looked cool, and it's really cool because you can see the little different windows and stuff on it, as well as all kinds of detail on the different decks and stuff that it has. So, that's just a pretty cool, pretty cool print. It's not the highest quality, but it's pretty cool. This is also really cool. This is a holder for two stream decks. Now, I don't have two with me right now, but basically you just put one there, one there, and you have like a double um, stream deck mount, but it runs the cables in between, and this is like pretty solid. Um, this is like, yeah, a really solid unit. As you can see, that's the other thing that this, I've noticed with this printer. Now, I don't know if you need to, but I've been using that glue stick. I pointed out earlier in this video, but I've been using this glue stick to kind of add glue well, obviously to the print bed that way all the prints stick because a few of them at first were not printing so i added the glue not to that one but i know i did to this one yeah so you can kind of see the glue on the bottom now it does wash off but it's still kind of annoying uh, but maybe it's just my fault for using too much glue so this is kind of where i have it right now i was able to cut some of the wood off of the shelf so it fits and i have the printer just chilling out here works kind of nice actually i have it just in like the corner of this room and it's just in a perfect spot where it can still fully print uh, but i can still access it if i need to but i just mostly use it over the network and back there you can see there's a network switch from ubiquity it's a flex mini switch so that way i have ethernet connectivity to here and some of the other led controllers up there all through one cable so that is the printer. I have a USB drive in here so I can upload prints to this, but it does have, I think it's four or two gigs of internal storage. So I don't even necessarily need that flash drive in there. But micro SD card slot, USB-C port. I don't know what that's for. I have not used it. USB-A port and this like, it looks like a phone line that goes to this controller. And this, if you're curious, is just so I can level out the printer so it fits well on the shelf and does not move around. I did also want to mention I was supposed to get the printer a lot sooner than I did so Elegu actually sent me some free filament just because of the shipping delay so I got some blue ones some blue filament uh, I purchased these two myself I got some white and black and then obviously the black that I have up there right now I also purchased that myself the filament reels are actually pretty cheap they're only about $14 a roll so honestly not that bad considering like how much it is like 900 grams of filament and 900 grams of filament lasted me all of these prints and a lot more than what you're seeing right now. There's a ton of other little test prints I did, uh, as well as other prints like this. So 900 grams is plenty of filament. The only other thing I don't like about this printer is how hard it is to get this print bed off. Now it's better than how easy it'd be to get off. If it was too easy, obviously it would slip off. But once it's on, you can see that it like easily gets off center and like the only way to center is by taking it off and just setting it down correctly and that's obviously just really difficult to do so you have to like put one hand back there to guide it in and just eyeball it but as i was saying other than that it's a pretty great printer this thing is insanely fast it prints yeah prints really quickly like this titanic took two hours this took five this took 15 minutes uh and this took i think 20 minutes so not bad this printer is pretty solid. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.